Hello. I see Diana already. I hope everything went well for you over the weekend, Miss Diana. So we're going to hang out till we see more people on board. So it's a nice sunny day in California. Hey, Doris. In Southern California, a nice sunny day. Do you believe that 4th of July is coming up fast? I can't believe it. So that's what we're going to focus on today is the 4th of July. Got to take care of advantage of the holidays. Because they sneak up on us. I bet it was super busy, Diana. But now it's behind you. You can relax a little bit. So that'll be good. Oh. I'm going to lie a little sleepy. I don't know why. Probably because I'm sitting down. Sitting down makes me sleep. And I just had lunch. I don't know if I eat, I get sleepy. Let's see, what time is it? It's only three after. Hi, Mickey. How are you? As the saying, it's warm in LA. As in Los Angeles, it's warm. So I have this greyhound, and they always say that greyhounds are a little, they like run cold. Not mine. She thinks anything over 70 is Mojave Desert. So, food makes you sleepy too? I know. So, I have to keep my house at 68 where the dog protests. So, she's so spoiled. Thank God for solar. I'd be spending a fortune on electric bills. Yeah, the heat makes you sleepy too. That's right. At least here it cools down at night. Because when I would go visit my grandma in Minnesota, oh my gosh, it's hot. Of course, that was before they had air conditioning. 87 in Kansas. Yeah. With a cover on? I do. Sometimes I put a sweatshirt on because it's 68 degrees and I'm cold. So, but the dog is comfortable. It's all about keeping the dog comfortable. So as I said, we're five minutes into it, so I think we can get started. So as I said, we're focusing on the 4th of July tonight. So we made uh, something similar to this for Memorial Day, but the Memorial Day one was rectangular shaped. So tonight, and it's also on chipboard, tonight we are going to cut, design and cut the, oops, Design and Cut July, and Design and Cut number four, but it's all built in. But instead of doing, overlapping the letters to weld, I put them on a rectangle. So yeah, it's cute. So the, the fourth is actually fabric mounted to the chipboard. I used, Something like Floriani applique, you could use RNK repositional webbing. Um, because you're fusing it to the chipboard, you can use heat and bond, something like that. And then for the July, this is heat transfer foil. So um, it's a, our embellished product. Salima may have it on, I don't know if it's in the app or not, or if it's on the um, website. Anyway, I've used heat transfer foil before. And most products have a separate glue sheet and then the foil and you rub the foil on and then pull it off the glue sheet. I don't know, it didn't work for me. But this stuff is really good. This stuff is good because it's all one product. So if you're gonna foil, I would recommend it. So let's change cameras and go, I'll show you what we're doing. Okay, so here I'm using the standard mat. We'll use the standard blade and we're gonna cut these at the same time. Now I already experimented. Last time I did this, I cut the chipboard separate from what I was putting on the chipboard. 
But this time we're cutting it together and I experimented and it worked. So because I think the fabric and the foil still keeps it within that three millimeters. That makes it so much easier to cut it all at one time. So of course I'm going to tape it down because you know, I don't want to be disappointed in my results. Hi Lini. And he's going to be with us on Friday for Friday Fun Day. Yippee! So this is the one we're going to cut the four, the number four out of. It, um, and once again, it's fabric mounted to chipboard. So I just want to be careful. Hi, Connie. And then we'll put our foil down. It's hot in LA, yes it is. I think it gets hotter every year. Um, so, like I said, my air is on 24 by 7. That's 68 degrees for the dog. If it were me, it'd be on 70 at least. But I probably should have cleaned this mat with a baby wipe, but hopefully it will stay down good enough. No, I feel I feel terrible. My sister lives in an apartment upstairs. She doesn't have air conditioning, but at least upstairs you feel safe enough to leave your windows open. So yes, Connie, gotta take care of the pups. They rule the world. At least at my house. In fact, the air conditioner, hi, 106. Oh no, that's terrible. At least uh, uh, the first Greyhound I got was also sensitive to, to heat, so I put in the air conditioner for him. And, uh, and then after that, it only got hotter. All right, so here we are. We're all adhered to the mat. We are going to go design. So let's see, I want you, we'll be on the, this camera first. So let's wake her up. See so turned her on for me, but she fell, fell asleep. She must have just had lunch too. my little sample handy because I need to know the size. Can you guys hear me okay? Thumbs up? Because everybody always complains that I'm too quiet. All right. So I'm just going to measure my stuff. Hey Pam. So my four is five and a half inches tall and I'm going to make it proportional so and then my July is two inches by six inches. So you guys help me remember that. Because you know, when I'll get there and I'll forget. Two by six and four is five inches high. Oh, five and a half. See? I can't believe it. I just measured that in my five and a half. Maybe a little more. Okay, let's get to designing. Now the four, of course, is going to be easy to design because that is just going to be the number four and make it taller. So let's grab that first. So I'm going into the fonts and I wanted a block letter, and I don't want anything fancy. I'm pretty sure I use this one. Let's see. Yeah, I use this one. Just straight block font. So to pick a number, we're going to go over to here. We're going to just pick number four and say OK. So we are going to set it. And I'm going to bring it down here. So. Keep an eye on. So let's edit. 
object at it and size it. So I'm going to keep it proportional because I think it'll, I'll double check. So let's make it a little over, I think it's a teeny bit over five and a half. Now, we'll just, maybe that's good. Okay, I'm going to say okay. And now, because of the, well, I'll wait till we scan in to show you that part. Okay, so let's go okay. So we just move the mic away from my head. All right, so we're going to add. We're going to go back to pattern, go back to the fonts, and go back to that block. And we're going to keep it all in caps because it'll make it easier for the way we're going to do it. July. And we're going to say OK. And we're going to say set. So, and it comes all as one, see? And before we size it, well, we can, let's go ahead, go for it. We're going to make it, well, actually, no, we don't want to do that yet. Sorry. Now we're going to go in and get a rectangle, or make a rectangle. So I'm going to go into shapes, and I'm going to pick my rectangle, and I'm going to say set. Now. What we want to do, oh, I feel like I just shouted. What we want to do is we want to make a bar under our July. And then we'll weld it together so when we cut July, it stays as one word so we don't have to putsy foot around and um, try to place each layer individually. So I'm going to do edit, object edit. We're going to size it. So I think, looks like I made it about a quarter inch. And we are going to take proportional off. So I'm going to make my height a quarter inch. Oops. And my length, I'm going to want it to be six inches. Let's see our July. So our July, I'm going to keep it proportional, but let's make our July a little shy. Let's make it five and a half inches. Well, let's see. make it a little wider because it was about okay that looks good so I'm gonna say okay and everybody with me hey Mary Lou all right now we're going to go into the move and we're going to you know I can't hardly see so I'm going into 200% and these arrows are going to bring the screen. This moves the screen. This moves the lettering. So I want my July. Actually, let's bring it. I, let's bring it up because we can. And why squint? So what I want. Gosh, I feel like I'm shouting. What I want is my July to just touch that bar. Well, that looks pretty good. Okay. I feel like my July is pretty well centered over the bar. So now I'm going to bring it down. And I want to make sure it crosses over. And it looks like it did. So we'll test it. We'll know pretty soon because we're going to go to weld it. So we're going to say OK and OK. And we're going to go to the selection tool. And we're going to use our arrows and just pick the July 
and the bar. Because that's all I want to say. So I'm going to say OK. And OK again. Once again, I'm going into Object Edit. And this is our Weld feature. Because I want to merge that bar and July. So it looks like I did a good job of combining them. So it's warning me, look, if you do this, you can't take it back. But we want to do it. So we're going to say OK. And there we are. We are welded. So guess what? That's all we have to do for our design portion of this program. So let's go to mm, put the mat in. Upside down. Hang on, we're gonna repeat. Okay. There we go. Hey, I'm getting better. I figured it out all by myself. Okay, so we're gonna load the mat. My chair won't move. Probably. This chair is probably squealing because I'm too heavy for it. All right. So now what I'm going to do is, you can see the bottom part. I'm going to say OK. I'm going to say OK again. And let me just switch screen so it's clear for you. I'm going to select the scan option. And I'm going to say OK. Start scanning. So we are scanning, scanning, scanning. Oh, wants me to lift the lever because was on two. Two is usually if you're scanning like just a thin piece of paper. So I go hit start again. And we're going to go for it. All right. So I'm going to go back so you can see what I'm doing design screen. Actually our July looks perfect, but our four has to be rotated. So I'm going to select my four. I'm going to go to edit, object edit, and the rotate. I'm going to rotate it 90 degrees to the left. Perfect. We're doing so good. So I said I was using chipboard. So it's like a thicker cardboard. Um, like when we used to get tablets for writing the cardboard that's on the back of it, it's about that thick. They call it chipboard. I'm going to say OK and OK and OK. Now I have my standard black blade in. And as you know, we're on a DX model. So DX models are automatic cuts. So this is really, really important. My half cut is off. Last week, not last week, but the week before I cut and the half cut was on, so it didn't cut. So I'm going to say start. And it's saying it's going to take a minute, but it'll adjust. When it figures out it's cutting something thick, it'll adjust the time. Let's change it so you can see what's going on. There you go. So you want to make sure that your fabric is fused really well. So the estimated time to finish has been updated. So you want to make sure your fat, whatever you're doing is fused really well. Or else you'll have problems with the cut. So it went back and it's recalculating it again, making sure that it cut deep enough. And some of my July, I had to help cut it. In fact, I put the blade in. So we'll see. Hopefully, it'll be okay. You could actually go through. In fact, maybe I'll just go ahead and do that. Cut it twice. It won't hurt anything. Okay, so let's just, for kicks and giggles, let's just, I didn't take it off the mat. 
I'm going to just go through it again because I'm afraid July might need a little extra help. And if you do it before you take it off the mat, it'll cut right where it cut previously. And I got to make sure this turns out really good because I told Selena whichever one turns out best she gets. Actually, the, this July looks bigger than the July I cut, so hopefully it'll fit okay. I need doors here to help me with these measurements things. Now see, that time it didn't take as long, probably because it said, hey, I did this before and I did a good job the first time. All right, here we are. All cut out. You guys, it's fingers crossed, so I don't have to make any. I left that. Beto brought me a razor blade, so I might have to go get it. Doris is here. Yes, you are, Miss Doris. Well, you you weren't here to help me with math, girl. Does anyone have any big plans for the 4th of July? You've already started shooting off fireworks in my area. Oh, by the way, fireworks are illegal. And so you stop them. Thank heavens. Uh, the, so the, the dog I had that was sensitive to fireworks, I had to put her to sleep in February. So I don't have to worry about her this year. And the Greyhound seems to be like, well, I don't care. So that's good because it can be very stressful when you have a dog who's afraid of fireworks and you don't like seeing them shaking and it's terrible. This is a quick, you see how quick and easy this project is? I'm telling you, the scan and cut makes gift giving, decorating, all kinds of stuff easy and classy looking, right? I mean, well, I think it looks classy. Oh, look at that, the fork cut up, perfect. So this is what you're left with, ta-da. So let me get out my spatula. Yeah, I know, I don't know what's wrong with people. I wish they didn't get, um, Fireworks, you know, they could be pretty, right? But why do they have to be noisy? Oh, and you plus out here in California, so much fire. Day. Perfect. Now, mine at home, I had to help this part a little bit. So maybe that second cut is a trick. Get that out of the way. All right, here's our July. Let's see how we did. Just kind of lifting it up with the our little spots. Ooh, that's a terrible glare. So I'm going to go from the back and see where I might need a little extra help. I'm just gently pushing. I can see where. So at home, I used an exacto. But guess what? I forgot the exacto at home. So hang on a second. Um, hopefully I won't cut myself, but. Beto brought me a blade. This is the bad one. So normally I wouldn't do it with this kind of blade because I'll probably have to be careful so I don't cut myself. July 4th, family grilled hot dogs in the backyard. Then we sit out in front after dark and watch other people shoot out fireworks all around the neighborhood. So is it fireworks legal where you are? They can only sell one week before 4th, so, but somebody was shooting off the big boomers before they start selling. Unless they've had leftovers from last year. I know, every day, it does make you jump, right? So the dog that was afraid of fireworks came from Spain and they used him for hunting over there and I think that's why she was freaked out. So they're not legal. I know, these people, they don't care. 
But the police have more important things to do than chase down people shooting off fireworks, right? Especially here in LA. All right, now you needs a little help. I know, people do it anyway. So, we'll have the 4th of July parade every year that goes behind. Oh, nice. Oh, then they shoot off. You know, I don't mind when it's a public, like the city does it, because you know, they have hired professionals. But when these amateurs do it, and they're shooting off that stuff in the air and it's going towards the dried out trees. That's a little nerve wracking. Now my husband loved fireworks, but we, back then it was legal. But you know, you just got the little stuff in the stands. It was a major. All right, so I'm having a little trouble here. So I'm just helping a little bit with the razor blade. So far I haven't cut myself, which is pretty good. Ah, there we go. See how pretty? Perfect. All right. So here we are. Blade out of the way before something horrible happens. Yeah, yep, the fire ding. I don't know, these people are not too bright. So here we go. This is the platform we're going to mount it to because I want it to be 3D and I want to be able to reuse this frame for all the holidays because they're not cheap. And so what we'll do is we'll mount our July 4th to this and then use temporary tape to mount to here. Last time for Memorial Day, I used that tacky, like museum putty kind of stuff. But I hung mine on my front door on the inside, and I guess it got so hot that the thing fell off. So I changed to this tape. Okay, let's compare. This is what we're going for. This is what we have. So on um, this one, I took the four. I can't see. all this stuff out of my way. So I took the four and put it like on this line. So what I'm mounting on is this was some just scrapbook paper and I double stick taped it to chipboard. So the back is just a chipboard. So that's why I'm mounting it on. So what you want to do is get, you know, try to make it look kind of centered and nice. And then the July. So what do you think? I think that looks pretty darn good, right? I think it's looking good. So now what I'm gonna do is take these, what are these called? Foam adhesive dots. So they thanks, fancy pants. Um so I'm sure Diana has lots of scrapbook paper because she used to do scrapbook. So the hardest part is going to get these dots out of here. Okay. So I'm going to use the big dots. Oh, it's Lim is moving the mic. I'm going to use the big dots on the four because he's chunky. I know it's pretty, isn't it? It's a fun little display. So it's going to hang on my front door um, on the inside. I don't think this would do well on the outside. So, so far, Fancy Pants is having a family gathering. Fancy Pants, what are you baking for the family gathering? Fancy Pants is a baker. So, I'm being very generous with my little dots here. There we go. So then you just peel off this, this dotty part. See, the chipboard isn't like super firm, but it's, it's pretty firm. I notice I'm taking care of all this stuff before I put it in the frame, because the last time, where are the dots called? They are called foam adhesive dots. I think you can find them 
in the scrapbook section because they use it to like create 3D effect, lift it off the paper. And that's exactly what we're doing. So what I'm hoping to achieve is little decorations that can go year round. We'll just swap out this part. See, the hardest part is those foam dots. Yes. Yes, Hobby Lobby will have them. We're babysitting one of our grand dogs, Boston Terry, over the weekend. He does not like noises. I know. I was babysitting my friend's dog one time, a miniature schnauzer. And I couldn't find her. It was around, you know, 4th of July. I couldn't find her anywhere. I'm like, oh, my God. What happens? You get out. My friend's gonna be so upset with me. She was hiding in the bathtub. Poor thing. All right. So I think on my July, I use the square adhesive. Ones. So let's get that going. Yeah. So they'll they'll hide all. The worst part is to make sure they don't get out. You're gonna make. Fancy Pants is going to make macaroni sound crispy. Oh, Pizel cookie bowl. Mmm. Vanilla and chocolate. Everybody brings more food. Someone will bring ice cream. Of course, you have to. All right, let's get our July. Let's be generous with our stickies. have to have ice cream on 4th of July. It's like cardinal rule. So I think I've told you this guy's it's a story before, but one year we had some neighbors that were, I mean, they were shooting off some serious fireworks. This was like professional grade bottle rockets shooting up in the air and making lots of noise. And then, you know, we have some like pine trees and stuff. Oh my gosh, not only are they irritate popsicles, yes. Not only are they irritating, because of the noise, but also it's a fire danger. So I got so mad that I went down there and I pounded on their door and everybody was in the backyard. They were in a party. They were all in the backyard except for this woman I was in the living room. I could see her through the door window. She was in the living room with a small little kid. I, I just kept pounding like the police were there. And bam, bam, bam. Finally, someone came to the door and I told them that fireworks are illegal if you don't knock it off right now then call the police so within five minutes everybody the house was dark and everybody was gone they didn't shoot off any more fireworks and I came walked away from it and all the neighborhood men are just standing there I'm like yeah where were you brave guys but I was knocking on the door so, don't mess with me. And then I went home, I thought, well, that probably wasn't the smartest thing to do, but. So I'm just trying to make it so they won't show. So I, um, once again, this was all the heat transfer foil was adhered with heat, and so was the fabric. And this, the, yes, it takes a woman to get the job done, you're right. And um, then this, this rusty red, white, and blue paper, I used double stick tape to adhere it. So now it looks like I'm going a little glue dot crazy, but okay I want to make sure it's not going to fall off because this one I think is going to go home with Miss Selena so Selena's going to 
have a family gathering, but I don't think they're going to have fireworks. Is Riley afraid of fireworks? No. Oh, good. So her dog's not afraid of fireworks. She's so chill. She's a chill axe dog. Yeah, I think, well, my greyhound didn't react until the other one reacted, but no. I think she'll be okay. Plus I give her... <laughs> So my greyhound's blind, and I think she gets her days and nights mixed up. So I found these, I call them doggy downers. They aren't prescription. They're some kind of medicine that has some kind of calming effect. I can't remember what's in them. So I'll, I just give her a doggy downers, and she goes to sleep. Because if I didn't, she would be coming in like 12 o'clock, 3 o'clock. I'd be woken up several times a night if I didn't give her a doggy downers. Diana's saying hi. So now, gotta take all those little paper strips off. Oh yeah, last time we met, we made a Father's Day card. So Diana, did you use this much glue dots on your stuff that you would make? Probably not. I'm just a little crazy here. I know. It's crazy how much money they spend on fireworks. I know, and I think it, because, you know, there's big boomer ones that aren't legal probably go down to Mexico and buy it and you're right even when it was legal they were expensive my favorite were the sparklers and then they had those things that looked like worms that you'd light it and then it made a big mess though those are I like the non-violent Let's throw them up the glue dots. Yeah, somebody said on Facebook, instead of buying fireworks, buy um, dog food for shelters. I thought that was pretty good. All right, so now we're ready to place our July. We want it about the same distance on the side. Oh, you like cap guns? Yeah. There we go. There we are. So now we're ready to mount it in our frame. Yes, cap guns were fun. So now since the, um, this doesn't even say what this is. So this is, it almost looks like amazing tape. Can you give me one of the not big scissors? I don't want to use your big scissors on this. So, um, this is called Easy Life Go Double Sided Tape Heavy Duty. But it is, they say it's removable. I haven't tried it yet. But um, it looks it's thick. So this side's sticky. And then this part has a film you take off. And you, um, that's what we'll mount it to. So we're going to put this on the back of this. I think this was seven and a half. So let's just measure. Let's see, look, this stuff kind of stinks. So let's measure like six inches approximately. And I'm going to stick it to the back of this. Yes. Yeah, that stuff is good. But this kind of reminds me of that. It's really sticky. Hopefully when I go to... Well, 
Well, I guess you would, because it's reusable. So I guess you would take it off of this and this. So hopefully when I take it off this, it doesn't tear. But no great tragedy if it does. I'll make sure this stays in place. I'm going to get some more of this. Well, it's reusable. I can take it off my Memorial Day one. All right, here we go. So now we got that on the back of that. So what we want to do is peel off that film. That's on there. And I saved the film just in case I reuse this stuff, right? All right. So I say you peel off the film. It doesn't mind. Come on. There we go. All right. This stuff is sticky. Sticky, sticky. That kind of stinks. So Doris, are you doing Hello Fresh tonight? Mm -hmm. I had a um, got it, then went back up. I'm eating leftovers tonight. Leftover Hello Fresh. Good idea, surge protector, so window frame. Good idea. But I don't want to wet the chipboard, that's the only problem. Okay, now I got all that off. See the hardest part? Is the tape and the glue dots. All right, let's move our frame front and center. I let my brother buy fireworks, but one time I asked one of them if I could shoot off his fireworks. He was asleep and said yes. Well, he wasn't too happy when I found out you'd shot them all up. Uh-oh. So make sure you're facing the right way. Let's just eyeball this. Oh, I need to come up for a little bit. All right, I'm just pressing down. Every table, I haven't heard of that. All right, ta-da, it looks good. So which one should I go see? I think I'll give her this one. I think everything's a little bigger. That is it. <coughs> Excuse me. Excuse me. All right, let me change cameras. There we go. So how'd you guys like that project? Was that fun? Fabulous, Mickey says. Thank you, Mickey. So, there we go. This one will be for Selena. Oh, my hair. What happened? Isn't that wonderful? Thank you. I think it's cute. Fancy Pants loves it. So, you guys, you too could make these signs very easily. Probably even faster than I did. Anyway, that is it. So, I was I had made that spring flag celebrate spring. I don't know if you remember that. I was looking at it and I'm thinking, when spring has sprung, you need to be having a summer flag. So maybe next time we'll do that. And also, so we have several um, questions mainly that people have asked, but I haven't posted them to the group because. Some questions are just hard to answer written. I think you need visual. So what I'm, oh, so Diana, I got off of Amazon. It is called Easy Life Go Double-Sided Tape Heavy Duty. So, double-sided, you easy, oh, it says reusable storage bag, but the tape's reusable also. Um, what was I going to say? So anyway, I was thinking one of these sessions we could have a question and answer session and I could address the questions that are waiting to be posted, which I'm not going to post them because, like I said, it's too hard to answer them um, without 
see at the scan and cut and going through it so, and there's quite a few so maybe we'll have to split it up and do a couple sessions but during those sessions you guys could also ask questions while we're live so that is all i have tonight i hope everyone has a great fourth i hope you come see us and don't forget tomorrow's our fabric sale <gasps> it's going to be really special you don't want to miss it. I'm telling you, you do not want to miss tomorrow night's fabric sale. Very special sale. All right, my friends, you all stay safe over the 4th and always, and take care, and we'll see you next time. Bye.